This week's EKU highlight clips presented by Meyer. The Eastern Kentucky University basketball teams welcome more than 150 young colonels to McBrayer Arena for a free basketball clinic as part of a new format to this year's Hoop Fest event held on Thursday. The young fans were lined up on the court to welcome the teams as they were introduced at the beginning of the event, each one of them getting to high-five the players and coaches as they made their way through the crowd. The clinics were led by the men's and women's basketball coaching staffs and players. Following the clinic, both teams treated the clinic participants to a talent show with some of their dunks, half-court shots, and even a dance-off between the men's and women's teams. The event concluded with the unveiling of this year's team posters and an autograph session. Bumping it over to volleyball now, where the EKU volleyball team lost a heartbreaker to Jacksonville State on Friday night. Eastern fell behind two sets to zero before winning two straight to force a decisive fifth set. In that final set, the Colonels took a 13-12 lead before the Gamecocks scored three straight to win the match. Alexis Plagans and Ashley Edmond contributed 15 kills each. The Colonels ended the week with the 3-2 win over Tennessee Tech on Senior Day. And senior Kelsey Keener contributed 15 kills, 5 digs, and 4 blocks. Edmund led all players with 20 kills. With basketball season right around the corner, Eastern Kentucky women's basketball coach Chrissy Roberts and men's coach Jeff Neubauer traveled to Nashville last week for the annual Ohio Valley Conference Basketball Media Day. Our goal um, in the end is to be, you know, one of the top teams in the league, not the top team in the league, uh, but the expectations are set pretty high. Um, you know, every day in practice when we compete, uh, you know, we talk about the journey and the role ahead and the things that we need to do to, to accomplish our goals. Uh, and we work at them every day. And we feel like our hard work will pay off at some point. Well, every Division I program and every OVC team is going to have bumps in the road. They're going to have hurdles. They're going to have things that they have to get through. Um, most programs are going to lose a game or two in a row maybe. And so how teams handle that, how they bounce back from those setbacks really determines who's on top at the end. And so I do think we have a group that has some toughness within them, and that toughness is gonna to be so important as you get into a Division I season, you get into a four-month grind where you're playing over 30 Division I games, uh, there's just a lot to go through. I do like our resilience so far, and I can't wait to see this group handle the bumps in the road.